Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve the lead code problem 242, which is valid anagram. The problem statement here is given two strings S and T, written true if T is an anagram of S and false otherwise. Before solving this problem, let us try to understand what an anagram is. It is mentioned that an anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase typically using all the original letters exactly once. The example that is given here is anagram and nagaram. S is A-N-A-G-R-A-M and T is N-A-G-A-R-A-M. Let us see how both of these are anagrams of each other. So the first word S is given as A-N-A-G-R-A-M and T is N-A-G-A-R-A-M. In order for S and T to be anagrams of each other, the letters present in S should be present in T as well. Like all the letters that are present in S should be present in T for the same number of times that are repeated in S. In this case, A is repeated three times, right? A, A and A. And even in T, A is repeated three times. The next letter is N. N is there for one time and even in T, N is there for one time. And we have G both in S and T, we have R both in S and T and we have M both in S and T. So there are no letters remaining in S and there are no letters remaining in T as well. So both of these are said to be anagrams of each other. S is anagram of T. Let us also look at the other example which is rat and car. So R is available in both S and T and A is also there in both S and T and in S we have T and in T we have C. So these two are not the same. So S and T are not anagrams of each other. So in this case in the above case where both are anagrams we need to return true. In the below case we need to return false. Let us see how we are going to solve this problem. We are going to use the dictionary data set for solving this problem dictionary data structure so the solution would be first we need to check if s and t are of same length length of s and length of t if the length of s and t are not same let us assume we have hive we have hiv so if the length are not same there is no way that both can become anagrams of each other. So without going any way further in the solution, we can directly reason return false if the length is not same. This is going to be our edge case check. So the next step would be to create an empty dictionary. Let us call it as count. Count dictionary. Dictionary will consist of a key and value pairs. So this is our empty dictionary that we created. And let us take the example anagram. We will be iterating throughout this word and we will note down the occurrences of each letters in the dictionary. It will be like when we are at letter A, we look at the dictionary and there is no letter A. I mean the dictionary is empty in the beginning. So we take a note of this letter A and we note down that it has occurred for one time and next for the letter n we look at the dictionary and letter n is not already available so we write n and it has come for one time and next we are at letter a again so we look at the dictionary and as letter a is available already we increment the value by one now we are at letter g so g is not there in the dictionary present so we will make a note of g and it has occurred for one time and we are at letter r we also make a note of letter R has occurred for one time. Now we are again at letter A. Letter A is already available. So we increment the value. And we are at letter M. We make a note of this letter M. So now the count is this dictionary. Count is going to be this dictionary where it has all the keys which are the letters that are present in the first string S and the value stating the number of occurrences of each letter. So our iteration one is complete. Now in the second iteration, we look at the other string. 
which is NAGARAM. Now we iterate throughout this string T. We reduce the value by one whenever we encounter a letter. For example, we are at letter N. We will look at this dictionary and we found the letter N here. We decrease the count by one. We do minus one. And now we are at letter A. And we found the letter A here and we reduce the count by one. And at letter G, we do the same thing, reduce by one. And letter A, again we reduce it by one. And, it let, and at letter AR, we reduce by one. And at letter A again, we reduce by one more. And at letter M, we reduce it to be one. So this is our dictionary after iterating through the string T. So our dictionary has become A to be zero, N to be zero, G to be zero, R to be zero, and M is zero. So now we iterate through the all the keys that are present in the count. Like the count dictionary consists of A, N, G, R, M. We iterate throughout the count. And if there is any letter that is having non zero value, then we return false. If it has non zero value, it means that there is some letter which is present in one of the string and not present in the other string. It means that both are not anagrams. Now in this case, we have everything as zero. It means that the number of letters and the letters that are present in both the strings are same. It means that both are anagrams. So we will return true. Let us also look at the two strings which are not anagrams as well. So our string is rat and the other string is car. So this is our empty dictionary count and we have key and values. So we iterate through the string S in the beginning. So we have letter R, it has come for one time and then we have letter A, which is there for one time and we have letter T, which is there for one time. So this is our count dictionary after iterating through string S. Now let us iterate through string T. So we have a letter C. So letter C is not available in the dictionary. What we do is we insert the letter C and make a count of one. And we have letter A, we reduce the count and we have letter R, we reduce the count. So now our count becomes R0, A0, T1 and C1. So we have completed two iterations. We have gone through S or we have gone through T. Now we have to look at the count. So we will go through each of these and see if there is any key that has count more than zero. So we we check letter R, the count is zero. We check letter A, the count is zero. And the next letter is T, which is having count, which is not equal to zero. And letter C, which is not equal to zero. Whenever there is a non-zero key, non-zero valued key that is present in the dictionary, it means that both are not anagrams. Both are not anagrams. We will be using Python to solve this problem. And even in Python, there are multiple ways to solve this problem. Uh, so I will be showing you two ways to solve this problem. Let us check both the ways. So this first step here is to check the length of both the strings. And if the length is not same, we will directly return false. So if the length is same, the first step th that we are going to do is we will initiate an empty dictionary, which is count. So now count is our empty dictionary. Now we will be iterating through the first string S. For every letter that is present in S, we are going to check if the letter is available in count already. If the letter is present in count already, we are going to increase the value of the letter by one. If the letter is not found in count, we are going to add that letter. Now we are done with one round of iteration for string S. Yes. Now let us also iterate through the string T. In the case of T, we are going to reduce reduce the count by one. Now we are done with iterating both of the strings. Now let us check the count. There is a non zero, non zero value. We will directly return false. Else we return 
true so this is going to be our solution let, let us try to run and check it out so the solution is accepted it has run for both of the cases let me try to submit and see so it is submitted and it is accepted so this is how we are going to solve the anagram problem using python as discussed earlier i am going to show you the other approach as well in generally in interviews if you solve with this approach it would be good it's always good to tell the other approaches that are available to solve this problem so the other solution would be we are going to sort sort both the strings and compare if both of them are equal or not sorted s equal to sorted t and we are just going to return if both are equal then it will return true if both are not equal then it will return false so this is also accepted solution but in most of the interviews if you don't explain the first method that we discussed and if you are explaining directly the second method uh, it won't be accepted because we are using the sorted function already an interviewer may ask you for the kind of sorted function that you are going to use and he might ask you to write the sorted function also so it is always good to have the first method explained and tell the interviewer that there is other method we can do which is the sorted one that's it for today's video see you in the upcoming session